What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. A beast monster titan thing from Patreon request from Christina for her son. Anguirus, I think is how you pronounce it, but I'm not quite sure. Full body, let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause, go too fast. His head is quite small down here, so I'll have to like zoom probably just to get down here, okay? And then he's a big ankylosaurus as far as I know. So we're going to start with like a like a horned frown just down here. Okay. And this is kind of spiky and goes back. Down here, right? And it's got like an angle line that way. So like his eyebrow kind of. And then his eye. just in there, very small. And then the pupil in the middle. And then he's got like some eyelid lines just around loosely sort of drawn in here. Right, so this continues, right, down. And I think he's got like a tooth right at the front. There's like a big spike here. And there's like a bit of a gum line or something. Goes up that way. And this is like a horn right on his nose. Comes down there. And then he's got like a nostril. Some skin around it. So he's got like a head plate of armor, it looks like. So it's kind of this bumpy sort of line that comes around here and his other eyebrow. Sort of spikes this way. It's the other side of his head, of course, so you can't really see it. And then like his eye socket or something here, and just the side of his face. So the rest of the teeth travel in this way. I think he's got like a tooth that sticks up here. And then the rest seem to, that one sticks up and then there's one that sticks down here. And then we go up, spike him down. Kind of spaced out a bit in the small one here, and it's all sort of like textured and gnarly looking. And then his chin sort of sticks out from this part, goes back, down, and up. like his jaw and then there's, there's all sorts of texture lines and stuff on this just these little wrinkle lines so the head is all bony like there's he's spikes and bones everywhere so we're just going to add a row of these to get us started right so coming along his face here One, how many? One, two, three, four. So we'll do like a real big one then. And this seems to just go into his skin. There. And then there's a row of bones that go. So there's like four or five rows, right? So you just basically gotta like build this up gradually. And then a real big one. Okay, so it goes in here. And then the 
there's all textures on all this part of his face as well. Okay, and then there's like a row of horns that come along the back and then go down his head, right? So there's multiple ways you could do this. You could go across here first or you can run up each line. So maybe the easiest would be to start like here. So we'll just start adding some bumps and spikes. There's one that like goes kind of up the middle, I guess, of his head. And then we got like a big horn sort of here. And then it kind of joins the next row, which is here as well. And then there's all horns that go this way as well. You just gotta keep adding them until you get down his head. And there's all sorts of textures along here. Right, and then there's a few more of these spikes that come out the side of the head then. Along here. Some more that come down this way, kind of go in behind his eyebrow, then and then rows of them in the head here as well. Right, textures like line down, lines down the big bones and just like coming across his head and stuff. Okay, that's pretty much his head, right. So now the fun begins. <laughs> so he's got like armor everywhere. So I guess the line that runs this way maybe might be helpful. Well, well his belly actually will do that probably. Yeah, we'll get that done first. So he's got like a row of spikes here. Right, and this is like on his neck. Okay, and then this will bump down this way. And then we meet his shoulder, which kind of comes down this way, and a bit of a spike there. Right. So we'll just try and get the main shapes in for his legs first. So this comes down like that, right? And the other side of his shoulder is here. And then we get an elbow down like that. And there's like spiky toes and stuff, but we'll just get the other legs and stuff in first. So like another spike down here. And his elbow has a spike there. Okay, that's another leg. The belly keeps going from behind this leg. Bumpy kind of line, doesn't have to be straight because he's all wrinkly and stuff. And then his other hind leg just here with a big spike on it. One or two spikes, it's like his knee. And then his foot comes down here. Again, there's all toes and stuff, but we'll just get them in shape in. Okay. So, he has what looks like armor hanging down 
and then the tail goes off. So, I guess this sort of tail armor something, it's like a thing that sticks down here. It has all spikes running down the back of it. So, a zigzag line is probably your best bet for this. Just kind of a spiky line that will eventually run up his back. Right, so this is like, it's, it's not quite a tail, it's like a piece of armor that sort of hangs down here. But then our tail starts to go this way. And it gets kind of spiky coming out that way. So, so tail starts here, that's armor. And then there's like, okay, so his feet and stuff, we get the toes and then we'll do like that back shell and then finish the tail. So do to do. So toes here, right? Big spiky claws sticking out. He seems to have four. Spikes there, and then two on his heel. And then here as well, like a spike there. And then they all kind of like stick forward here. So if I go too fast now, hit pause when I move my hand. There's another leg hidden back here. So we'll come back to that one, I think. So we've got like, just like his toes kind of here. And toes here, claws. Toes kind of with carved lines on them. And there's all textures on his feet and like knees and stuff here but that other one is kind of like hidden back in here right so it's kind of the foot sort of just kind of sticks out and you can just see some of his claws kind of sticking out here these spikes and then he's got like some spikes coming off his knee kind of like this seems to be only on his back legs Okay, and then there's textures all over these legs, right? So basically you just like add like wrinkly curved lines and then they go up. So they kind of get like crisscross. It's like a net, like if you threw a net on them, these crisscross lines. Right, there's there's all sort of armor and stuff on the legs as well. So the tail is like a separate thing, right? But his armor on his back comes up and goes down this. It's all part of this one thing here and it's covered in bones. Bumping around might be helpful first. Okay, so there's a line of spikes that comes down here. And they start big and then get kind of smaller on the side. So there's like big ones here. So let's see. Okay, and this goes over his shoulder, down 
and then back over the hind leg. So this is quite detailed now, this bit. So it's just loads of spikes. This has some more spikes in here as well. And then this thing has textures, this sort of tail like thing it has like these. Textures on it like that. And then this part of his body has all details on it as well. So his neck has this sort of armor stuff. This will run down the tail as well. Right, and then he's got like some armor on his shoulders, right? So like layers of spikes, right? These little spikes that come across his shoulder. fast but he is pretty detailed so textures and all this like circles clustered together or lines are helpful and then there's more just here And then some more on this. So, like, sort of just comes around the leg Right, so now um, there's another piece of this dangly thing down here. And this is all spikes coming off it. And then texture lines and stuff just coming across here. So armor along the back is like spikes 
and spikes and spikes, right? So let's try this. So we've got a row, it looks like a row of like short spikes first. Here. Okay. Just kind of coming over his shoulder. And then another one. Then another. Big spike here. Textures. and all this skin right yeah so spikes then go the whole way down his back they're they're it's just full of spikes basically so we do our best with this now so layers and layers go i might have to move fast Curve around his back and then go down his back as well. Let's just say our highest one is like there. This one's kind of crazy, they're all overlapping. go that's kind of the highest point so they all then go down this way then and there's like you fill in the gaps basically as you go so you're just gonna keep spiking it the whole way down basically like this and it, it goes the whole way down its tail as well so that's pretty crazy so there's all ones in between This little line down the middle just to make him look a bit three-dimensional 3d so you're just doing a big spiky section on coming like it's like grass growing out of his spine like so big right So then, these spikes go down in rows onto the tail. So we've got like a row of them. Go down his tail. And like curve around the tail then. So you can see them sort of sitting on the tail here. So 
so the tail kind of curves around this way. So see if I went this way with the tail. It's kind of bumpy because there's all spikes coming off it as well. But then up here there's like big spikes. So it's kind of like triceratops sort of end to the tail. Right, and then it goes sort of spiky all around. So this sort of middle row ends up like up here somewhere. And then there's like, there's another little piece of the tail that kind of comes this way. I mean, it's kind of, it's got like, it is bumpy because it has like spikes coming off it as well. Right, so it's like this. And then there's all like little spikes sticking off here. And this comes in onto the body of the tail and then go like all down this way and just run the row of spikes the whole way back okay and then there's like another row of spikes so so many spikes And then there's all like little spikes sticking off the bottom here, kind of like this part, I guess. And then there's like texture lines that all come around the tail here. And like a few more spikes and stuff going this way. But like generally it's just all textured up now. You can add like more spikes, of course, if you wanted. There is more spikes in the picture, but ain't nobody got time for that. It's a lot of spikes. You know, there's like little ones like here, you know, and all like in here and stuff. But ridiculously detailed. And just some textures on the bottom of the tail. Boom. Okay. Detailed request. Ang Anguirus. Full body. Hope it's helpful, Christina. Thanks for the request and support on Patreon. Hope it helps your son out. Complicated though. Did my best to make it a bit simpler, especially with those spikes, because it's crazy. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.